it is not case sensitive case. text filters are not case sensitive so in the source in the region central is something like this c in upper case remaining all in lower case even though in the source it is like this when i write completely in upper case still it is showing the data that means text filters in power view is not case sensitive guys so even though when it is in other case it will show text filters in power view is not case sensitive in some softwares text filters will be case sensitive in some softwares text filters are not case sensitive here in power view they are not sensitive guys you can write it in any case so i want to show here i want to show the customers whose name sometimes when you write begins with so when i write begins with starts with when i write ellen it will show only the customers whose name is starting with ellen but this time what i need is sometimes my name people will write like this sunil a so some people will write a sunil kumar sometimes they might even write kumar a sunil so this time my requirement is when a name contains sunil i need it if you write begins with starts with it will show only this if you write ends with it will show only this so wherever the customer name whether it is starting or middle or end when the name contains a so and so text i want to show it guys then so this time the requirement is same i not only want to show the customers whose names are starting with ln so starting or middle or end wherever it is if it name contains ln i need to show it so when a name contains ln when you want to show it now you need to try with an option called what contains customer name contains ln when you write customer name contains ln it will show the customers whose name is containing ln in between so ln is there where here between here ln is there in where starting here ln is there where at the end so whether it is starting or middle or end if a name contains so and so text if i want to show you need to go with an option called what contains when you want to write only based on starting characters you can go with starts with it will show only the customer names whose name starts with ln so does not contains when i click on does not contains ln if a text contains ln it will not show it will show only the customers whose name contains does not contains ln other than ln it will show right contains does not contains starts with does not start with is is not if you want to write the conditions based on blank values or empty values we can try with is blank is not blank is empty is not empty empty values or black values if you want to write when there is any requirement where we need to write the condition based on empty values or blank values look at this i have a table here where i have a jobs as blanks guys jobs as blanks when i go here job blank is there employee name the job and the department number i want to show only the employees whose jobs are blanks here so if you want to show only the employees whose jobs are blanks i can go to the job column you can go and try with advanced filtering options you can go with is blank when i click on apply it will show only the employees whose jobs are blank when i go and select is not blank it will show only the employees other than blank other than blank someone is asking can we write any condition based on ending characters so sometimes when you want to filter the data in the visual you might not find the options when you don't find the options you can write dax dax code guys so in dax you will have a lot of different uh, functions when you are not able to find so here when i am filtering the data on te text columns you don't find any option where we can write the filter condition on ending characters starts with you have it contains you have it but ending with you don't have it when you don't have any options directly we have a dax language which we can use it and we can filter the data you will understand that fine so these are the advanced filtering options you have a, on a text column guys same way so i want to show top 5 customers based on their sales when you when you when you create a visual to show customer name by sales it will show all the customers and all their sales i'll go to employee table or uh, orders table i'll drag customer name i'll drag the sales 
when i drag the customer name and when, when i drag the sales it will show all the customers and all their sales values so i don't want to show all the customers all their sales i want to show only top five customers who are doing more sales so you can even sort this data sort by based on sales value in descending order it is sorting in descending order so who are the top five customers who are doing more sales is starting from sen till adrin so i want to show only this top five customers when you want to show only top five now they are top five customers tomorrow when i go and purchase i'll get i'll i'll get on the top right i'll get on the top so if if i purchase uh, more than this i will get on the top i want to show always top five customers here whenever you need to show top five customers what we can do select the visual go to the customer name column i want to go with a filter the data on customer name basic filtering will not work here advanced filtering will not work you need to try with top and filtering top how many customers i want five based on what sales click on apply it will show top five customers who are doing more sales with us same way if you want to show bottom five customers just go and click on bottom apply it will show bottom five customers who are if you if you don't even sort it you will get the data so it is not mandatory that you need to unmuted get top five customers so just i shown it if you if you are not even sorting you'll get the top five customers only yes you need to write a dax code directly you will not get it both top five and bottom five it is not possible to show with the default filters we need to write our own dax code and we need to show it uh, so 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 if for uh, employees if we say the salary plus commission together is a remuneration and i want a top five remuneration then i have to create new column yeah you need to create new column and you need to rank it okay. so you want to show top five employees okay. yeah you can start creating a new column to sum this and you can rank okay. them you can even write it so directly there is a rank x function in the dax in in dax you can do lot of things guys there is a rank x function without even deriving the new column you can even do the rankings so when you write dax code it, you can get it but using the default filters if you want to get first you need to sum them you need to give the rankings based on the derived column fine this is how you need to filter the data on text data type column on text data type column also we will see only three subtypes we see needed so whenever we are filtering the data on date data type column you will see basic advanced top and relative date and relative time today what i'll do is i'll share one video with you that video will explain how to filter the data on date data date data type columns filtering data on date data type columns you'll get one video today once after the class at 9 o'clock sometime filtering video name is filtering data on date data type column so that video will explain completely how to filter the data on date data type column date data type column. yeah you can write multiple filter conditions cascading filters take an example here i want to create a visual where i want to show sum of sales where region equal to central and category equal to technology you can write two filter conditions here I, now tell me guys how to show it i want to create one visual where i want to show sum of sales when i drag sum of sales it will show complete sales but i don't want complete sales here region equal to central and category equal to technology first drag which column region column next drag which column category column write the both filter conditions first let me drag region column which region central go and add another filter condition category column which category technology now how many filters will have the on this two filters category equal to technology and region equal to central so once you understand about how to filter the data on date data type columns you need to understand few more things here so when you are writing the filter conditions in advance there are there you are seeing and or so when you are writing the filter conditions when you go with advanced when you write two filter conditions here you have and you have or when to go with and when to go with or the same video you can even find the explanation about when to use and when to use or 
there are some cases if both the conditions are true i want to show the values there are some cases any one condition is true i want to show the values so what is and and what is or how we will write the conditions we'll find explanation about them in the video now tell me guys i want to show the employees where employee name and salaries i want to show employees employee name and salary i want to show only the employees whose salaries are between 1000 and 3000 guys i don't want to show all the employees sort it in so it is not even showing so sort by salary so i want to show only the employees ascending order i want to show only the employees whose salaries are between 1000 and 3000 so that means 1000 and 3000 how many employees you have whatever the box i am seeing here those are the employees who are between 1000 and 3000 so between means so i want to show employees salaries between salaries between 1000 and 3000 between 1000 and 3000 you don't find direct uh, option between there 3000 so when i go and check it here i want to filter the data on which column salary column i can go to salary i'll try to filter the data so are you seeing between option here so you are you're not seeing between between is nothing but salary between 1000 and 3000 equivalent to what means salary greater than or equal to 1000 and salary less than or equal to 3000 this is equivalent to between so whenever you need to show some between values when you don't find between directly you can use greater than or equal to less than or equal to along with just what operator you need to use and now this time the requirement is it need to satisfy both the conditions when when an employee is satisfying when an employee salary is satisfying both the conditions then only i want to show it i'm not asking just show the salaries which are greater than 1000 i'm not asking to show the salaries which are less than 3000 less than or equal to 3000 it need to satisfy both between they need to have between so when both the conditions are true whenever you need to show some values you need to go with and here now here i can just go here salary you can just select is greater than or equal to starting with thousand and the second condition also need to be true here and is less than or equal to three thousand when i click on apply it will show the employees who sell what is happening greater than or equal to is less than or equal sorry sorry both i am selecting less than or equal to no 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 first you need to select greater than or equal to second one less than or equal to you need to select and only here so it will show employees whose salaries are between thousand and three thousand so there are some cases where we need to select and where we need to select or if both the conditions are true then if i want to show the value here then you need to select and if any one of the condition is true if you want to show the values here or so you can find some explanation about when to use and and when to use or there and then You'll find some more options when you are applying the filter. We know this eraser kind of button is for what purpose? Clearing the filter. If you already applied some filters, if you want to clear it, you can clear it. And there is lock filter, hide filter. And there is hide filter spin. When you apply any filters in the report, when you save the report, when you publish the report, when you share the report with the client, client will see this filter spin. Client will see what? By default, client will see this filters pin. But whatever the filters you applied here, your client, they don't want to see it. So you want to hide this filter pin completely. To hide this filter pin to your client, you need to use which option? AI kind of button is there, right? You can hide it. Now, when I save the report, when I publish the report, when I share the report with my client, will they see this filter pin? No. So every time, 99% of time, in the real time, when we apply any filters in the filter span, we'll hide the filter span and we'll publish it. Make sure to hide this. If you're not hiding this, so they will see what filters you applied. What filters you applied. Sometimes, very exceptional cases, we don't hide the filter span, complete filter span. We'll hide the individual filters. So instead of hiding the complete filter span, let's assume I want to hide only this filter to my client. There are 10 filters here. I want to hide only one individual filter. What do you have here? 
hide filter. You can go and hide it. This time it will show filter span, but it will hide only this filter to the client. Hide means it will not show. Sometimes I want to show the filter. By default, when they see the filter, they can even change the filter condition also. When you show the filter, they will change the filter condition also. Sometimes I want to show the filter condition, but I don't want to change it. So there is an option called what? Lock filter. When you lock it, they will see this filter. Can they change this filter? No, by default, when you save the report, when you publish the report, they will see filter span. They can even change the filter conditions by clients can even change the filter condition. Three types of requirements you'll have it. So you might need to show that filter condition, but you need to lock it. They are not supposed to change it. When they're not supposed to change it, you need to lock it. They, they will see this filter condition, but they cannot change it. Second one is, so I want to show the filter span, but I want to hide only individual filter. When you want to hide only individual filter, you can go to that filter, you can hide the filter. This too, very rarely we will use it. Majority of the cases, what we'll do? We'll completely hide the filter span. You need to understand about these three options for uh, perfectly, correctly, what is the purpose of each one. In the filter span, hiding the filter span, hiding each individual filter, locking the each individual filter. Try to understand how to hide a filter, hide a filter condition, lock filter condition, and last one is hide complete filter span. Hide complete filter span to clients. Majority, majority of the cases, what we'll do? We'll do this only. Once we apply any filters, we'll hide the complete filter span to the clients. When you hide it, they cannot see it. They cannot even see it. They cannot even change it. Right? Just hide it and save it, publish it, share it. They will not see this filter span. They will see only the visuals in the report canvas. By default, it will be unhide. When you, when you share any report, they can see filter span. If you observe, I share one report when in the introduction classes for user 34, we shared one report or user 33, we shared one report. So when I log in, where I can see a report which is shared with me, I can go with a folder what called what? Shared with me. When I go there, so some, some report we shared it. Demo report, a batch, 183 something. So if you go to this report, by default, when the client is opening the report, what he is seeing? Filters. Pen. This is filter spin. I haven't applied any filters. You're not seeing filters, but are you able to see this filter spin, right? So when you apply any filters, you can even see this. So I don't want to show this filter spin to my client. If you don't want to show this filter spin to your client, if you want to show only report canvas, what you need to do? You need to just hide it, then publish it, then share it. This time, will they see this filter spin? No. If there is any filters, they don't even see it, right? So please go through that video and try to understand all these options. Before we stop for today, anybody have any questions? <laughs> Sunil, I have a question. Hello. Sunil, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. See, for yes. example, uh, if there is a country, OK, there is a country filter, and there is a uh, state filter let's say if i select usa in the states it should show only usa related states not see the one thing there. Is that, no, you are talking about, that is slicer if you want to provide a provision to the client to filter the data you mm -hmm. need to go to slicer visual i have a hard visual where i have complete sales i want mm -hmm. to provide a provision to my client they want to select a particular state when they select mm. any state here, they want to see only particular cities in that state. So this is one slicer visual. And you can mm -hmm. take another slicer visual where you can keep cities. Mm -hmm. When I drag the cities, by default, it will show all the cities here. Instead of mm -hmm. that, when you select any state here, the state corresponding cities it will show. Then when I go and select any city, it will show it. If you want to provide a provision to your client to filter the data, that is different. That is slicers. Mm -hmm. We are talking about an option where we need to completely hide the data to the clients. No, not about that. See, you were talking about the filters. I'm asking about the cascading filters. Cascading so what filters. I'm talking about, yeah. 
cascading filters is you have to see if if the city data is generated in the filter in the filter drop down itself if the city data is generated based on the state that is called as a cascading filter this is not new this is there from ssrs as well see man just wait that is what we are even discussing here i have a category column here i have a sub category column here by default it is showing all the 17 sub categories and you go and click on furniture it will show furniture related sub categories so i am talking is this option available in the filters or not there you are showing in the visualization this option here you are asking about yes yes so when you drag a category possible. column when you apply it when you drag sub category column yes it will available right let me show you let me clear this filter first i will okay. go and drag category column here Okay. I'll go and drag subcategory column, a second column. On two columns, you want to filter the data. Drag the subcategory column. First, when you apply the filter condition on category column, obviously it will show corresponding subcategories only. When you go here, it will show corresponding yeah, subcategories. Yeah, yeah. This was what I am asking actually. Yeah, here, yes. Fine. Hmm. Then you select it, where it will show the particular subcategory. Yeah, yeah. Fine. This was I was asking actually, not uh, in the visual. Fine. Wherever it is, the, the, the functionality is same. Whether it is in the filter display or when it is in the slice, functionality is same. Yeah. 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 So uh, so I am having a... Yes. Naveen, tell me, Naveen. Yeah, Sunil, actually, I have uh, attended your uh, introduction classes. I have got the video still uh, class 6, Sunil. I have paid the fees on Monday. Uh, yeah, the, you don't uh, get all the classes videos. Uh, okay. Uh, you will get only uh, missing classes videos. If you miss any class, you will get the class video. Some important topics, I will share the videos myself. You don't get all the classes videos. Okay, okay. So, actually, what happened is yesterday I was having a call. Uh, uh, Just some, send uh, office. Yeah, yeah. For some reasons, if you miss the class, send a message that today yes. I missed the class. I need a video. I'll share it. Okay. And the, and the other doubt is like uh, I need to complete this course within uh, thirty days actually. Right. I mean, so you uh, want to attend two hours per day. What you need to do is yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So you got a mail right on Sunday. New module start dates. Yes, yes. I have got a normal message mail. Yeah. Every uh, Sunday is sorry. one mail. And you need okay. to check. That uh, which timings are suitable for you? You just choose two modules parallelly, either morning one, evening one, or morning two. So when you attend two hours per day, you can complete the course within 30 days. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yes, someone other is asking the question. Please go ahead. I'll save it, save it as filters class two guys. Or else I'll write it as power view filters class two. Power view filters class two. And I'll even add a date, 17th March 2021. I'll save it and I'll publish it. So we'll do one thing. I'll even publish this old document also. Just try this. Whatever we have it. Uh, here, just try them, try to create them. In 14th page, I'm even adding another text box. In the text box, I paste this one also, these questions, just try them. Uh, Sunil, in general, uh, maybe after three or uh, say five days, can you give some tutorials to us, a small project where we will work and all the skills? So last, at last, I'll give it. So uh, uh, there will be, uh, 